So, uh, good afternoon uh, to the members of the Ukrainian Corporate Governance Academy. Uh, thank you very much uh, for meeting on the topic and also for asking me to uh, have a quick introductory word. We have started at INSEAD uh, the Corporate Governance Initiative uh, a few years ago, uh, really as a result of the financial crisis. A good corporate governance uh, gives you sustainability. And I think that's the side which is not sufficiently emphasized, uh, which is that uh, you know if, if a company has one great CEO after another one, it's probably because there is a corporate governance culture which is very positive and that ensures that the next CEO is the right person uh, and, and you know is, is actually preparing his own succession. And so when he leaves or she leaves, then the next, the next one is in line and can do as well. So good corporate governance is basically uh, seen as, as generating sustainable performance. And that's in fact what everybody wants. So that is the, the scene. Corporate governance is, is like hygiene. It's a must, but it's also a performance driver. Uh, and it's a healthy performance driver. Uh, it ensures that profits are made in, in a fair and legitimate way and that profits are, are actually uh, sustainable. So uh, the big task of governance is actually performance. And in that sense, bad governance can be extremely costly, as we all know. Most cases of fraud are the result of bad governance, a bad oversight, lack of, a lack of control. I think in Europe we have uh, this notion that business should be responsible and accountable. Uh, Europe, in that sense, is leading the debate in corporate governance in the sense of, of holding business responsible. Now, I think one of the difficulties is that uh, in this search for responsibility, you know, you should make sure to give enough autonomy to business in order for business to flourish. Uh, but um, I think the European notion, uh, which is, uh, which is uh, really specific to Europe uh, in the sense of taking it so seriously, is business should be accountable to, it, to people, to society, and when something bad happens, it's the boards that are responsible, not the shareholders, because shareholders come and go. And anyway, if they've lost all their money, that's it. You, there's nothing more you can do. So the, the responsibility for a business lies with the board. And I think that makes it a very serious business and a very interesting business. And also one where you need intelligence, courage, positive emotion, and a very positive spirit. Uh, that is where I think the spirit uh, of governance is also related with the spirit of the country, which is what uh, is the country expecting uh, from its, its corporate governance system. And I think that's sort of a, a debate where uh, an organization like the Ukrainian Corporate Governance Academy can really help fuel and stimulate the debate and, and keep the issue on the agenda. Uh, the issue I like, uh, or the spirit I like in governance is Kaizen, Kaizen from continuous improvement. We're not there yet, we keep improving. We have to change because the world changes. Big change happening with digital. And I would say digital is probably the issue that's going to be a life or death issue for many boards. If the board is ready, company can manage uh, the digital wave. The key notion of, of INSEAD is this uh, multicultural aspect, uh, bringing people from different backgrounds together and solving problems in order to improve the world, their communities and their businesses. Uh, governance is an integral part of improving business and that's why we've launched in 2010 as a result of the financial crisis uh, the governance initiative and we now have close to 1,000 uh, board members who've come to our programs from all over the world, of course Europe but also Australia, US, uh, Asia. I think uh, the world needs Europe. Uh, Europe is probably the only blog that is not imperialistic that really is trying to improve the the well-being of its citizens. Uh, of course, trying to have peace, trying to have prosperity, and also probably leading in terms of, uh, you know, ensuring the future for our children, which means the climate change issues and the sustainability issues of, of the planet. So uh, Europe is really, I think, uh, is trying to uh, take care of the problems, not just of each country, uh, but also of the world and of its surrounding communities. Europe is very well integrated with the rest of the world, probably more integrated in a certain way than uh, many other continents. In Chinese, crisis is opportunity. And it's probably not an accident that, you know, in the current Ukrainian crisis, uh, 
uh, the UCGA is looking at, at uh, governance and the Ukrainians are looking at governance. And this is the time, this is actually the time to set uh, governance on the right footing. Governance is really the Achilles heel of the Wall Street capitalism that if, if you have, if you let executives and if you let markets function by themselves, bad things could happen. I'm not saying bad things will happen, but bad things could happen. And that was really the case in the financial crisis. So a good governance system would actually stop this early. Uh, and correct it fast. And I think in that sense, society has an interest uh, in a stable, effective governance system. That's what you're talking. I think that's exactly what you should be talking. It's a systemic issue. Uh, it's not just the executives. It's not just the shareholders. It's also the governments. And I think that's what I really hope Ukraine can solve, which is what does Ukraine as a community, business, people, citizens, governments, investors, foreign investors. What does Ukraine want from its governance system? And I think that's where the discussion should be. And a clear answer to that then allows uh, people to act. So best wishes uh, for Ukraine. We really feel for you and, and want you to succeed. This fits the INSEAD mission. We will be there. We are available. Uh, we have made some comments and uh, we're happy to contribute in the future, you know, if you wish us and if we can help. So very best wishes for your meeting. Uh, great opportunity, take the time and come to good answers and uh, don't go for perfection but keep improving and make a commitment. Thank you.